video, we are going to do some quadratic models. So a lot of times in the real world, we'll take data that is really close to being a quadratic relationship, but it might not be exact. Um, just we know there's things in the real world that vary or there might be human error in the measurements, different things like that. But using a model or a relationship that's really close can still help us make predictions um, that could be useful. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to use our calculator to help us, um, but we're going to look at this table of data. Um, so here's our situation. We are standing in the observation deck of the CN Tower in Toronto. You drop a penny. The distance of the penny from the ground after various times is given in the table below. Use the data given in the table to find the linear and quadratic regression equations and a correlation and correlation coefficients. State which model, linear or quadratic, best fits the data. Where is the penny located after falling for 10 and a half seconds? Okay, so I've defined a couple things here for you. The first one being regression. So they asked us to create a linear and quadratic regression. Basically what a, regress a regression does is it creates an equation to really closely fit the data as best as it can. Um, and we have different forms of regressions. Today we're going to look at linear and quadratic. That's what we're most familiar with, but we have lots of different ones. Um, and then it says compare the correlation coefficients. So the correlation coefficient gives us um, a read on how close that equation actually fits the data. The closer it is to one, they use the, um, the letter R for correlation coefficient. Um, perfect fit, I'm gonna add that in here. Perfect fit is R equals one. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're going to enter this data into our graphing calculator. So I've already done it, but I'm going to show you guys how to do it. So you go to stat and then edit. So that's what I have written here, those directions. Um, and you can enter in these lists. So I put the time in list one and the distance in list two. Um, to clear a list, you just go up to the top and hit clear enter, and then you can start fresh. I'm going to second quit to get out of that. Okay, now I'm down here and we are going to use quadratic and linear regression. So I'm gonna start with linear. How we get there is you hit stat again and this time I arrow over to calc. Um, and actually, arrow over to calc. Okay, and then I'm gonna choose linear regression. That's this one right here. So, and then I'm gonna hit enter. And so it uses y equals ax plus b, we're used to that as y equals mx plus b, but a is the value for slope, and b is the value for the y-intercept. So, and notice r is negative 0.95, so that's actually really close to 1. Um, and so we are going to write the r value, so we had negative 0 0.9599, I'll round four decimal places. And then I'm going to write the equation, so we had negative 160 x and then b they said was 2034.3 okay so here's another part i'm going to look at you guys so i am going to turn on a scatter plot so imagine this um, table i graphed those points we can do that here so if you go to second and then y equals i'm going to hit enter there where it says plot one you want to make sure that's on and then the type i have the scatter plot selected and then notice it says list one and list two. That's the ones I want to be graphed. So the, you might have to adjust your window. So I looked back at the table. My X values went from zero to 10. So I adjusted that. My Y values are all positive. So I went from zero to 2000 and I changed the Y scale by fifties um, just to fit the data so I can see it. Now I'm gonna hit graph. So there are those points graphed. So now I want to see how close did that line actually fit the graph. So I'm going to t go back to y equals, and I'm going to type that in. So I've got negative 160x plus 2034.3, and I'm going to hit graph again. Okay, so it's pretty close to the line. Again, it's not perfect, but it's pretty close. Okay, so now let's try. I'm going to clear this one out, and we'll do the quadratic regression next. So I'm going to go back to stat arrow over to calc, and I'm going to scroll down to quad reg, that's quadratic regression, and we're going to do the same thing. Ah, so r squared is just r times r, um, but if it's 1, it means r had to have been 1. 1 squared is 1. So if it's equal to 1, that means it's a perfect fit. So this equation 
perfectly will fit our data and we'll graph it here to verify that. So my equation, notice it is the standard quadratic, ax squared, they're giving me values for a, b, and c. So we got negative 16x squared plus 0x plus 18, 21. Okay, so I'm going to graph this one now. So I'm going to go into y equals, and I'm going to type that equation. So we got negative 16x squared plus 18, 21. And I'm going to hit graph. And we're going to see that it is perfectly going to fit the data. So the correlation coefficient is a measurement of how close the equation fits the data. The closer it is to 1, the better fit it is. If it's exactly 1, it's a perfect fit like it is in this case. Okay, so it says compare the correlation coefficients and identify the better model. So we're going to say quadratic is a better model than linear because the correlation coefficient equals 1. All right, so now it says use the model to predict. So remember at the top it said, where is the penny located after falling for 10 and a half seconds? So time was our x column, right, when it was graphed, okay? So time is x, y is the distance. So I'm going to plug in 10 and a half for x into my quadratic equation. So I'm going to do y equals um, negative 16. We're going to plug in 10 and a half for x. And then this is going to tell us how far above the ground the penny is after 10 and a half seconds. Okay, so we've got 10.5 squared times negative 16 plus 18, 21. So the penny is 57 feet above the ground. So I'm going to say, I'm going to use context here, the penny is... 57 feet above the ground after 10 and a half seconds. Okay, so you guys are going to practice this using your calculator to create linear and quadratic regression. Decide which one is the better model based on the correlation coefficient. Then use that equation that you decided is better to make predictions about the data that you weren't given but could use that as a pattern relationship to predict something else can happen. Okay, um, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.